Josh, extraordinary scenes here at Wormsley. Unicorns have won, they've beaten Glamorgan, undefeated in fact against Absolutely, Glamorgan. Yeah, uh, yeah. What a game of cricket to be involved in. Yeah, fantastic. And I think we really needed something like that at the beginning of our season. You know, we've played some really great cricket throughout the, uh, throughout the summer. We've got some fantastic players. And on a setting like this, it was, it was great to, uh, to come through with a, with a victory. And, and two out of four games we played against them, two rained off. And we played, yeah, we played some good cricket. A shame something like that hasn't happened at the beginning of the year. I think a couple of younger, inexperienced players seeing that we can knock over a big county, getting that belief that we can knock over the big boys. Certainly, we're in. A, it would have been nice, but but hey, it's a, it's a finish. It signs us off at the end of the year, and it's been it's been really good fun. So mirroring the Somerset game, you know, uh, some early wickets when mm. maybe the total was probably 30, 40 shy of where you'd like to have been. Yeah, and um, certainly I, I think all of the batters that kind of got 20, 30 today could have held their hand up saying, yeah, I could have gone on um, and, and posted another 20, 30 runs. And these things happen. But no, it's, um, no, we were in a really, really good position there and, and, and closed it off the last, last few wickets off uh, 35 runs. So it was good. And given that the team tends to come together either the evening before and you're now all driving to all parts of the country, it's actually really difficult to get yeah. effectively a team unit, but we've seen today what can be done. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the guys have travelled from all around the country. Um, we all play our club crickets on a Saturday. We, we come together the day before the game and, and uh, other guys are obviously still pushing and vying for contracts and, and jockeying for position. But, but yeah, we all come together and, and good team unity. And it's obviously a shame that not everyone's been available for all the games uh, throughout the year because of minor counties clashes. But, but yeah, no, we're in a in a really nice kind of buzz in there and it's nice to be in a winning change room rather than the last few weeks and things not going too well. You mentioned adding a bit of pressure there, of course the middle overs again absolutely key, bringing the field in, uh, Keith was just saying there, and, and exerting that pressure, standing up to the quicks as well, you know, really puts the batsman under pressure. Yeah, I mean it's something that's part of my game, very much standing up to the likes of Glenn and, and, uh, and Reese. but no, it's been, um, it is the, the, bringing the fielders in, is adding that pressure and we, we've got some good fielders in there and, and Thornley bowled brilliantly, changed the game for us and that over from... Um, from Bevan was uh, was absolutely sensational. Three wickets in the over really, really t turned the game on the head. And of course, all the fielding drills that everybody, all the team goes through, the very last run out was just to show what can be done. Yeah, and already gives it everything. He gives 100%. He's been out on the boundary all, all throughout the game. It's very easy to switch off, and, and he was in a key position. Key men in key positions, and throwing the stumps down from deep long off was, uh, was great. It was great to win, and, and, and nice when they had the extra runner out there as well. You know, those sorts of things just, just add, uh, add salt to the wound, so no, it's good fun. You never know, do you? So Absolutely. Listen, ahead of the future, you know, hopefully next year it'll back back here at Wormsley, of course, so it's almost becoming, well, it's becoming now a happy home. Exactly. I mean, we love the place. It's The setting's sensational. The wicket's the best wicket we play on for our home games. And yeah, we'd be happy to play all of our games here. Um, and so yeah, the, the more games here, the better. Okay, well, listen, we hope we'll see you back here in the next year. But, uh, thanks thanks so much. Thanks. Cheers.